There are two ways you can download tax compliance certificate. I'm going to briefly and in summary show you how you can do it by yourself. You might need it when you're applying for a job or when you want to go abroad so that they can check that you really comply with the tax regulation of your country. Now, the first way you can go to eCitizen. Where you go to eCitizen.kra.go.ke. Once you click that link, and this link I'll put in the in the description of this video, it will automatically take you to a login page. Once you log in, this is how your page will display. Okay, so uh, if you have a business, it will show that this is a business. Like for me here, this is Elvisia Digital business. But I can also convert to personal. So let me click on the on the personal. It will convert to to a personal page. But let me use the business page. Now, assuming you have a personal page and then you want to 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 apply a tax compliance check on the list on your right on your left okay so the one two three the third the fourth option is tax compliance so you click on tax compliance it will uh, list tax liability where i have zero then pending returns i have i have zero you see so it means i can be able to to get the tax compliance certificate. Now I've just checked uh, tax compliance. This is for a business. Now I want to check for for an individual. Okay. Okay. Still, I don't have any any uh, penalty. I don't have uh, any principal tax that I've not paid. Now that's the the first to check. If you are compliant with the with the KRA, so you can check this on your eCitizen, or you can check it on the next part I'm going to show you, which is the the KRA, the ordinary KRA, where we usually uh, check uh, if you are compliant. They usually KRA portal. Now for the KRA portal, you you go to login to KRA portal on the website. Then you select login. Okay. Once you select login, it will take you to this place. You log in, you put your password and carry a, a password and carry pin. Then you go to the certificates. You see where we, we have certificates on the right side on the top? We have certificates. So you go to certificates, then you go down, you go where they're saying the tax compliance so apply for tax compliance certificate you click there boom now so they've said the TSC the, the tax compliance certificate which is the uh, let me try to, to move this the TCC, which is tax compliance, is under process or you have valid TCC. So it means I, I applied my TCC uh, previously, which has not lasted for 12 months. So it means it has to last for 12 months before I apply for another TCC. So uh, my tax compliance certificate is still on, so I cannot download another one. So you cannot apply for another TCC. But immediately I finish the 24 months, then I'll get another TCC. And most of the time, uh, the, the financial year starts on uh, June to June the following year. So within this period is one financial year. So I applied my, my TCC uh, within this period and I'll wait for another one year to, to apply another TCC. So if you have any question uh, about this, kindly leave in the comment section or any if you need any assistance on how, on the applications of different services on KRA or any other related services, let me know in the comment section and I will be able to create a tutorial 
of a cell. See you in my next video.